For the 14th problem on the second ACT practice test, what is the length in feet of the hypotenuse of a right triangle with legs that are 6 feet long and 7 feet long, respectively? So to solve this, let's first draw a picture so that we can get a better idea of what we're trying to find. So we know that we have a right triangle, and we know the lengths of each of these legs. So we have a 90 degree angle there. And let's say this leg is six feet and this leg is seven feet. So we need to figure out what this hypotenuse is and I can call it X. Now the relationship between the sides of a right triangle and the hypotenuse is known as the Pythagorean theorem. So to apply it, let's first look at a very general triangle without any specific lengths and I can show you the general formula if you haven't seen it before. So if this side is length A, this side is length B, and this side is length C, then the Pythagorean theorem, which is used exclusively for right triangles, is that A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Or another way to think about it is that if you were to make a square using side lengths A here, so each of these side lengths is A, and you made a square here at B, where all of these lengths here, these are all B, and you made a square at C, and this is actually how the Greeks used to think of it. They didn't think of it as A squared plus B squared equals C squared. They thought of it as the square on A plus the square on B is equal to the square on C. So let's see, the square on A plus the square on B, or I should say with side lengths B and with side lengths A, would be equal to the square with side lengths C. So whatever way is easier for you to remember it, but they both work and they're both true. So now we just have to apply the Pythagorean theorem to this particular problem, and I'm going to use the A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So we can call this side here a, and we can call this B, though if you switch these, it really doesn't make any difference. And this X value, this hypotenuse that we're trying to find, we can call C, at least in our formula. So we have, according to the formula, A squared, or 6 squared, plus B squared, or 7 squared, is equal to the hypotenuse squared, which is X squared. And 6 squared is 6 times 6, which is 36. 7 squared, which is 7 times 7, is 49. And this is equal to x squared. 36 plus 49, if we add the 6 to this, we get 55. And adding 30 to 55 brings us up to 85. So x squared is equal to 85. And from here, we can take a square root of each side. So that x is equal to the square root of 85. And usually, I should note, when taking the square root of each side, we would have to put plus or minus over here. But we're focusing solely on lengths, so it has to be positive, And we can ignore the minus. So x is the square root of 85. And if we go back up to our answer choices, you can see that choice letter g is the correct answer.